How's everybody doing? Today's January 29th. Hope everybody's having a fabulous Tuesday and doing really well. Fit Coach, thank you for the uh, shirts. We appreciate it. They rock. Want to say all hi to our friends up at Lithium down in Westlaco. That was totally cool. We love those shirts. Um, appreciate you, Fit Coach. Erica, that was awesome. All right, guys, how's everybody doing out there? Um, before I begin, if you haven't already, make sure you go to the pureline.com front slash XP Black. That's our new fat loss compound. We're getting crazy results from that. Awesome reviews. Make sure and stop by our online store. If you live in Texas, you happen to live near one of our stores, drop by McAllen, Brownsville, Corpus, San Antonio, Austin. We're there for you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Hey, Strong Physiques. Tony, what's up, buddy? Hope everybody's doing well. All right, guys. Um, as you all know, this is Testosterone Tuesday. Sorry, females. Sorry, girls. Just letting you know, this is Testosterone Tuesday. Every day is a different day. Monday is Mo Motivation Monday. Uh, Tuesday is Testosterone Tuesday. We talk a little bit more about man stuff, about the good stuff, stuff that gets you, uh, gets you big, gets you in shape. So, today will be Testosterone Tuesday, and all the girls clicked out. <laughs> so, anyway... Before I begin, guys, uh, like I said, if you haven't already, go to thepureline.com, front slash XP Black, especially if you're watching this later on our YouTube uh, replay, and uh, check out that new fat loss compound. We're getting some awesome reviews. People are losing crazy weight with it. It's got the new GBB formula in there, so check that out, okay? So how's everybody doing? Are you, uh, everybody hear me okay? Y'all hear me? Where are you guys at? I know we've got people from Colorado. Westlaco, got people all different places. Hey, listen, also, um, do me a favor. If you have any questions about the topic today, which is actually what's killing your manhood, then make sure and leave the questions in the comments boxes right now, and I'll get to them after the uh, quick 15-minute uh, presentation, okay? So what we're going to talk about today is what is killing your manhood, Okay, guys, specifically. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because it seems like, you know, everybody is doing TRT or some kind of testosterone replacement therapy nowadays, especially from 30, ages 30 to 60. In fact, my dad was telling me that um, he was having lunch with some friends of his. My dad's probably in his mid 60s. And all these guys were talking about how everybody was on TRT. You know, what is up with all these young guys, man? They're all on testosterone and, you know, they're all taking stuff for, uh, you know, the low testosterone levels, we never had that. We never experienced that. It kind of got me thinking, you know, why is that? Because it does seem like the majority of guys that I know uh, over 30, a lot of them are taking testosterone. I'm not, I'm not talking about taking testosterone for the sake of just, you know, taking it for muscular gain and losing body fat and energy. A lot of the guys have gotten their blood work done and they've realized, hey, man, I have low T. You know, I'm in the down, I'm in the 200 to 150 level. And my doctor says that I need to be on some kind of testosterone. So why is that? You know, it got really got me thinking. I mean, why are so many guys having to deal with this today? I mean, it seems like 30 years ago, 50 years ago, we didn't have this problem. Um, it didn't seem like testosterone was even a an issue or was even a second thought. In fact, most physicians would have been like, no, 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 testosterone's bad. You don't need that stuff. It's not good for you. You'll get a heart attack. You'll die, yada, yada, yada. Um, but now it seems like everyone's happy when they're on TRT. Everybody's taking it. And the doctors are happy because, you know, if you have a low test and you're getting that fixed, they're happy. Uh, the patient's happy because they feel better. They have more energy. And uh, shit, the pharmaceutical companies are happy because they're making more money selling more medicine. So it's just crazy. It seems like everybody is doing this testosterone replacement therapy now. And the thing is, nobody is asking why. Why are people doing this? What's the reason behind it? Why are so many people uh, ages 30 plus having, I'm sorry, people, I should say men, why are so many guys 30 plus, you know, having to do TRT and getting this replacement therapy done? And what I think, uh, so I've got a few theories about it. And those theories are what I'm going to talk about today. My first theory is what I want to call an endocrine disruptor. So the endocrine system is what's responsible for testosterone, right? It's the hormone system in the body. And I think we've just, in the last 20 years, have had a lot of disruption um, that has taken place in our endocrine system, males specifically, um, by way of lowering testosterone. And I think a lot of that has to do with several factors. Number one, the food we eat. I think there's a lot of hormones and chemicals and toxins that's, that are being used 
on the food, on the meats, on the produce, and all that stuff that's causing testosterone levels to drop drastically. Um, I think there's environmental contaminants. I think there's a lot of stuff in our environment that is causing our testosterone levels to drop, whether it's you know fluoride in the water, um, different things that we're intaking without even realizing, even pollution in the air. I think there's a lot of medical things out there, pharmaceuticals that are probably being utilized as unbeknowing that it's creating low testosterone. Uh, so I think that's another issue. Um, I think uh, everything from Teflon plans, uh, Teflon pans to uh, smoke toxins to different drugs we're using. I think a lot of those are what can be considered endocrine disruptors. And those are disrupting our endocrine system and creating testosterone levels to fall at a more drastic pace than we've ever seen before. So that's my first reason. That's the first reason I think guys are seeing lower testosterone levels today and now more than ever. Um, now, what can you do to kind of combat those first three things? And, and I think some of the most important things are, number one, you should try to eat organic when you can. Number two, you should have grass-fed beef, you know, uh, when you can, stuff that hasn't been tainted with chemicals and hormones. Um, and be careful with the stuff that you put on your skin. You know, a lot of people don't realize that toxins come through chemicals and creams. Your skin is the biggest organ. So it's taking a lot of that stuff in and it's causing uh, disruptions in the endocrine system which are then bringing testosterone levels down. So be careful with that. I mean, I really, really believe that. So that's the first thing, endocrine disruptors. Those are the things that I really think are, are causing our testosterone levels to go down. The second thing that is causing testosterone levels to go down in men more now than ever, like I said, you know, today for some reason, people from 30 and over tend to be taking testosterone replacement therapy more than they ever were 30 or 40 years ago. It wasn't even heard of back then. And I think the second thing is lack of sleep and stress. You know, we work more now than we've ever worked in the history of society. Most people work at least 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., if not longer, after hours. You're on your tablets, on your computers, on your phone. And this is due to stress. And, and in fact, you know, um, sleep patterns are disrupted by all the technology now that we're using before we go to bed. And I think the stress and sleep combine to drastically start bringing down testosterone levels. And that's one of the bigger issues that has taken place over the last five, I'm sorry, over the last 20 to 25 years that has caused testosterone levels to drop. Um, you know, they did a study where they put 10 guys, I think it was 10 guys, and they put them on five hours of sleep Monday through Friday to see what that would do to their testosterone levels. And they found that on average, testosterone levels drop by 15% by only allowing these people to sleep for five hours a day. Now think about that. Do you sleep eight hours, nine hours, seven hours? You guys who are only sleeping four or five hours a day, maybe you're going to bed at one and you know getting up at six, getting ready for your day. Testosterone levels are dropping drastically. So sleep is extremely important, which by the way, um, if you want something that helps you sleep really well, go to our website, thepureline.com, and we have a product called REMREX, R-E-M uh, slash slash REX, I believe, but I'll have it put in the comments right now, thepureline.com front slash, I think it's, I don't even know if it's the front slash. I'll just put it in the comments. It's REMREX, it's a sleep aid, and this sleep aid really helps put you in a good state of sleep. It's completely natural. It's not like Ambien or anything else that you would take. Um, you wake up rested. It's got some melatonin, valerian, root. You, you feel really good. So sleep and stress, those are two things that are extremely vital uh, for are they're extremely responsible for bringing testosterone levels down so make sure that you're trying to fix those things that you're not stressed out that you're not you know sleeping uh, that you're not not waking up or that I'm sorry was that just terrible Blech. no make sure that you're watching stress levels make sure that you are sleeping well both those things are extremely important for testosterone levels again you guys are just joined the whole idea the whole topic of this talk is why guys now more than ever are having to use testosterone when they never had to use it 25, 30 years ago. What's the deal? <clears throat> why are guys just jumping on the TRT bandwagon? Why is testosterone so low? Nobody's asking why. So again, you know, we looked at the first factor being, you know, endocrine disruptors, stuff like toxins in food, chemicals that are being used on our fruits, um, fluoride, different things that are out there that obviously aren't good for us. Um, are creating an a disruption in our endocrine system and bringing testosterone down. The second thing I looked at was sleep and sleep deprivation and uh, stress that's you know causing a lot of cortisol to rise and it's keeping testosterone levels down. So you know make sure and look at those things. One of the things for the sleep uh, that I think is really important 
is have some kind of a, a wind down protocol at night. You know, I know I usually start like around 1030. Uh, 1030, I usually kind of, that's my last show on Netflix. And then I'll read for about 30 minutes and then meditate, you know, just do a guided meditation. Look up guided meditation on YouTube and, you know, put some headphones on and just relax. Then do, don't get on your phone. Don't get on a tablet when you're in bed. Just let your body relax and you'll find that you sleep a lot better. And again, remember, if you're getting five hours or less sleep per night, then you're disrupting or bringing down testosterone by an easy 15%. So keep that in mind. Now, what's the third thing? What is the third thing that is causing testosterone levels to drop that we're seeing more and more of? I did a little research because I was kind of curious, like, what are the three most prevalent things? You know, one obviously was, uh, you know, the endocrine disruptors. Two was not getting enough sleep and stress. And the third thing, believe it or not, and I kind of knew this, but I, I just did, I needed some more validation, was not getting enough sunlight. We work inside, you know, the typical American male pretty much works inside unless you have a job that you're out, you know, with power lines or, you know, you're working in yards all day. Most of us, for the most part, you know, we work in commercial buildings, we work in stores, uh, we work in all kinds of, you know, uh, highly air conditioned and, and clean places that don't have exposure to sunlight. And sunlight is responsible for vitamin D. With vitamin D, we increase testosterone level, it's a raw material. So think about that, if you're not getting enough sun on a daily basis, which if you live in a climate, like right now the East Coast is extremely cold and it's getting pounded with frost, I mean, it's pretty much warm, I mean, pretty much cold and dreary, and dreary all day there. So you definitely need sun or you definitely need vitamin D supplementation. One of the things you can do is you can supplement with vitamin D, um, usually 500 to 1,000 IUs a day, but, you know, I was watching a TED Talk about vitamin D, and it was pretty interesting. It was a guy from, I believe he was from uh, England somewhere, and he was talking about how Australians and uh, had so much better, uh, longer lifespans and better testosterone levels because, you know, they were out in the sun, and they were feeling, you know, they got a lot more exposure than the English people did. But then he went on to explore it a little more, and he also found that, they, the sun not only provided vitamin D, but it also caused the skin to create a reaction which released nitric oxide into the body. And that nitric oxide um, increased blood vasodilation, allowed the capillaries to open up, better circulation overall. So there's something to be said, not just about the vitamin D supplementation, but also about how it affects nitric oxide levels in the body. So think about that. You know, those are some really, really important facts. If you want to see that TED Talk, just YouTube TED Talk Vitamin D Australia. I think that's something, something like that. And you'll, it's a really interesting talk by this guy. Um, but I think those are the three things that you really have to look at. You know, number one, like I said, what are your endocrine disruptors? What are you eating every day? Um, are you taking any toxins that you shouldn't be? Smoke, alcohol, drug toxins, pharmaceutical toxins, uh, things that are in the air. Can you limit any of that fluorides? The other thing obviously is sleep. Are you getting six to eight hours a night? Are you relaxing? Are you de-stressing? Are you going through a wind down protocol to make sure you sleep very well? Um, and obviously the last thing is getting enough sunlight, dash vitamin D. You know, I think sunlight is still more important than just a vitamin D supplement. If you can get, you know, 20 to 30 minutes of great sunlight, that's more important than just vitamin D supplements. So think about that as well. I was in San Diego this last weekend and man, it was beautiful. If there's anybody on the West Coast watching this, it was 78 degrees, sunny. I mean, just feeling the sun hit your face and just feeling warm. You can tell there's something nourishing and something good about that for your body. Now, when it comes to supplements for increasing testosterone, there's a lot of different things you can do. Um, I believe I talked a few last week sometime about d acid, about uh, tribulus, about zinc and magnesium, about how all those things will help increase testosterone levels and help produce more testosterone, um, which obviously ends up, you know, resulting in better muscle gain, quicker fat loss, energy, health, vitality, all that stuff. Um, there's one system we have called the Testo Surge system. You can put that in the comments. It's the pureline.com, uh, the Testo Surge system out. That one mixes um, Testoplex, T-Drive, and I believe Arima DX, if I'm not mistaken, it's three compounds together that all work synergistically to increase testosterone levels. Um, Testoplex has the zinc and magnesium with the Bulgarian tribulus. T-Drive has the D-aspartic acid with a little bit of DIN to bring estrogen levels down. 
And then the Arimidex is a Arimastain product, which helps also drive up testosterone while bringing estrogen levels down as well. Those three work in combination. Test a surge system. Check that out at thepureline.com. We've got the um, link in the Facebook comments below. If you're on Instagram, you can check this video out on YouTube, and I will put the link to that system down below. But the Testo Surge system is a great compounded a group of products to help increase testosterone levels naturally. So if you're looking to do that, that would help you. But again, you know, eliminate those endocrine disruptors, eliminate stress, and try to improve your exposure to vitamin D. If you do all three things, you will see better increases in natural testosterone. Now, will it be enough so that you don't have to take TRT or you don't have to go on testosterone replacement therapy? It depends. You know, it depends on a lot of variables, um, your workouts, your training, whether your body responds well to that, um, whether you're in a place where your body can produce testosterone again naturally. So you've got to look at all those things and just kind of let it happen. I highly recommend that you get a vitamin D blood test. Check out check your vitamin D levels, ask your physician to kind of check that out for you, see where you're at, see where you stand on the spectrum, make sure your vitamin D levels are where they need to be, and hence, your testosterone levels should follow suit just as well, okay? So guys, what I'm gonna do today, is anybody who orders online today after they watch this, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a discount code in. Um, the discount code is gonna be testosterone1, T-E-S-T-O-S-T-E-R-O-N-E, -E, testosterone one at thepureline.com. And actually, you can use that on the entire site, and you'll get 15% off. We're only going to have that one on uh, probably for 48 hours. So I'll leave that up for 48 hours, and then we'll take that down. If you're watching this later on YouTube, that's, that's a, only was good on our Instagram and Facebook Live. So we're going to keep it up for a little bit here. Okay, so check that out. Now, I did have a question come in and it was earlier today and it's really a little bit off topic, but I want to answer it because, um, you know, I told the person that I would answer it on our Faith 530 Live Facebook and Instagram and it was about her mom. And do you happen to know where that question was? Did you see that one come in? Mm -hmm. Maybe it was a Facebook question. Uh, I mean, an email question. It was about her mom and her mom's getting older and she wanted to know what she could do or what she could take to start losing weight and getting in shape. I think her mom was over 40, she said. And so, um, you know, most important thing always, diet, exercise, drinking plenty of water, trying to eat a healthy diet. You know, a lot of lean proteins, uh, regulate carbohydrates, fats, things like that. And, you know, as far as supplementation goes, you always start with the basics. If you go back to that video that I had that was um, about your supplement period and the, your supplement pyramid and the foundational stuff like vitamins and minerals, vitamin C, vitamin E, make sure all of that stuff's in place before going to something aggressive to try to help burn body fat, etc. So um, to that individual out there who wrote that question, I don't have it in front of me, but I do want to say that start her slow, you know, start her with the basics, maybe a, re a meal replacement, a protein, something like that, that will help just kind of guide her in the right direction or give her a little metabolic support, nothing really harsh, okay? So we also had a question on here, what kind of a side effects would you get from Epishred and Testojet? Now, that's a very, uh, that those products are in our Pure Line arsenal. Um, they're DHEA blends, they're derived from natural sources, they work very well. There's zero side effects to those types of products because they come from DHEA. Um, obviously, because they are producing testosterone in your body, you don't wanna take those for periods longer than eight to 12 weeks. But if you're a healthy male who has no issues with, um, you know, any testosterone related issues and you decide to jump on our pro anabolic compounds like Testojet and Epishred, you're going to do great with them. There's no side effects, no liver toxicity. They're not methylated, so they don't cause any kidney issues. Um, extremely clean, good compounds. So for that person out there asking that question, you're not going to need to take anything with that. It's a very clean product. You'll see great results with it. Okay. So guys, that was it today. That was our Testosterone Tuesday. Uh, be sure and tell your friends, man. We do this every 5.30 p.m. We come at you with some information that you can use to help improve your body, burn fat, build muscle. And like I said, even on Mondays, we do our Motivation Mondays. Um, if you have any questions, email us at info at thepureline.com. That's I-N-F-O at thepureline.com. We will answer any questions you have and hopefully get you um, on the right track and help you you know, really crush 2019. And by the way, um, if you haven't had a chance, you know, drop by one of our retail stores in Texas or 
go to uh, thepureline.com. Check out our fat loss compound, XPTG Black. That one is doing tremendously well. We're seeing crazy results with that one come in. Very clean stem, not a lot of crazy jitteriness or anything like that. Just a good fat mobilizer, so check that out too. All right, guys, hope you're having a great day. We will uh, be back here tomorrow, same time, same station. Tell your friends about us and go out and crush it tonight if you're hitting the gym. We will talk to you soon. Be well, guys. Take care.